Well, hello friends, I hope you all had a great Memorial Day. Today I'll continue to address proteins part two. And the objectives for today, we are asking three new questions. Where do we get our proteins from? What is protein quality? And are the highest quality proteins the heaviest? A very important question. So in the last video, we said that proteins are molecules built with amino acids, building blocks. We review what they do in our bodies, playing a critical role in our immune system, uh, helping us fight infections, cancer, playing a role as a hormones like insulin, playing a role in our digestive system with enzymes, and essentially, part of our bones and muscles and skin and hair. And you ask how much do we need in terms of proteins and answer is 0.8 grams per kilogram per body weight. And we said most of us Americans exceed these requirements. Either. And if you look at body composition, 6% of our body is water, but 50% is in fact proteins. Uh, so let's go to the question number one. Where do we get our proteins from? And again, on this slide, we're comparing 100 grams of mutton beef with the peanuts and the peanut butter, all have about the same grams of protein with beef a little bit more, 31 grams per 100 grams. If you compare here uh, pork chops, chicken uh, with the tofu and flax seeds, again, not a big difference. Uh, the same between 17 and 19 grams per 100 grams. And if you compare uh, tuna with beans, with cannellini beans and mung beans and hemp seeds, again, not a big difference. If you compare eggs and cottage cheese, it's 13 grams, same as soybeans and walnuts, actually a bit more, 15 grams per 100 uh, uh, grams. If you compare milk and cheddar cheese, with uh, chickpeas and green peas, again, six grams versus 5.5, 5.3. Not a significant difference. If you look at uh, uh, fish, uh, salmon in particular, 9.7 grams, same as lentils and uh, pecans and green yogurt. And if you even look at the rice, uh, broccoli and spinach, and all have 2.5 to 2.9 grams of uh, uh, protein per 100 uh, uh, grams. Uh, who would have guessed that broccoli and spinach have uh, proteins. Let's address uh, our question number two. What is protein quality? How is it defined? It is defined by an index called digestible amino acid score. Uh, how easy it is for the body to digest and absorb them. That's it. It's not co correlated with the health outcomes. In other words, it does not correlate if it's really good uh, for you or uh, not. And here is the score of different uh, protein sources. The score is higher for animal proteins, above 100, beef, pork, chicken and eggs, 100 for soy, but lower for wheat, corn and uh, broccoli. And if you look at uh, these uh, slides, you look at the amount of amino acids per 40 grams of uh, salmon, chicken, beef and pork, and about the same if you compare the amount of amino acids in rice, black beans, and peanut, and broccoli, we can see the animal and plant source all have all 20 amino acids, all have the essential amino acids, uh, not a lot of difference. And here, if you compare side by side, uh, eggs with rice and beans, again, really no significant difference. And uh, the bottom line is expressed on this uh, textbook of nutrition by uh, Sizer and uh, Whitney, and essentially they say pro this protein quality uh, measured by the score in the developed world is only a theoretical interest. It's uh, almost impossible for us not to meet all protein requirements, uh, even if you are plant-based or uh, completely vegan. You still have any questions about are you getting enough protein? Ask uh, any of guys, even Mr. Universe uh, is a vegan and won the title as a bodybuilder. So let's look at question number three. Are the highest quality proteins the healthiest? No, they do not correlate with the health outcomes. We will explore this more in a subsequent video. In conclusion, proteins are abundant animal and plant foods. Most of us exceed our needs. The animal proteins have a uh, higher quality, they're easy to digest, that's a fact. 
uh, but they bring a baggage. They have trans fat, saturated fats, cholesterol, and, and meats are carcinogenic, the type 1 for processed meats. For instance, the plants on the other hand lower cholesterol, they don't have cholesterol, and higher quality uh, does not mean that it's best for you. And to quiz time, so uh, animal proteins have a higher quality than plant. Uh, plant proteins are healthiest of the animal proteins who are uh, which ones are best, which ones are the worst, and uh, does the average American need a protein supplement? We'll answer uh, these uh, questions on the next video. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others, let's just take uh, control. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, write a comment. I'm trying to make these videos as interactive as possible. I publish these videos on the 2nd and 4th Friday of each month. See you next video.